All right, for forging out this hook, I'm gonna be using a piece of quarter inch round stock, just mild steel. We're gonna get it tossed in the forge and I'm gonna show you how to work one of these out real quick. All right, while my steel is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my jig put in place. I have this jig right here, I got off of Etsy. It's from Foxwood Forge. It makes things so much quicker. Uh, when we go to cut the hook off to the proper length before forging the part where the eye goes, uh, you can use a hacksaw for that. I use my metal cutting bandsaw. You can also use a hot cut hardy in your anvil. So any of those ways work. But now that we're set up here, what I do when I put this in place is I'll just take a piece of quarter inch round, make sure it fits in there real good. That does. So we're going to go ahead and get our hook hammered out and get it bent. I'll also be using this set of needle nose pliers to scroll the very tip to where the scroll end goes on the hook. So let's get these steel out of the forge and get to work. Right, so all I do here, come over, flat face of my hammer, about that many, on the side. There we go. That simple. A few hammer blows. We got our tip formed. I'm going to go ahead and get back in there and get it hot again. Alright, tip's hot. We're going to take our pliers here, bite it here on the end, and bring our scroll on around. Alright, there's your scroll. Lean over the edge, tap, tap. Take it like that. There's your scroll in. That quick, that easy. Let's get it back in the forge and we'll go ahead and get it over to the bending jig get it bent. Now when I bring this out of the forge, I'm going to take, when all this is hot, I'm going to take this tip and I'm going to dunk it in some water. And the reason for that is, is as I use my scrolling jig or my bending jig over there, I don't want this tip to be deformed. So once I cool it off, it won't have any effect on it when I, when I bend it. All right, into the water to dip the tip. Okay, come in, pull it straight down like that right there, and I just go right around. I usually bend it to where it meets that corner right there because it's a consistent place. It's this corner right here, this, because that's a consistent place I can bend it to with every single hook and know that I'm getting the right bend every time. So there's the bend on our hook. So let's cut it off now. All right. Like I was saying, I use my metal cutting band saw to cut my hooks off. Uh, you can use a hacksaw. You can use a hot cut hardy. Uh, I've made a mark here on my table from the edge of the table to here to where I can come in here and I can lay my hook at the edge of the table, see my line, pinch it, go straight in here, cut it off, there's our hook. Now we'll, we'll uh, flatten or we, now we'll forge in the point up here for where we will we'll forge in the part where we'll attach to the wall. Alright, now that we've got our hook here, I'm going to come right over here to the edge of the anvil. Right there. There you go. It creates that nice little ledge right there. Right up here at the head to where all you got to do is hit it with your punch, drill your hole into it, and you've pretty much got a hook that's good to go. You can do, you know, you can twist these. You can get really super elaborate with these. Uh, just a basic straightforward hook like this is one of my best selling items in my Etsy store. I sell uh, these in sets of six and I sell hundreds of them over the course of the year. So I'm going to go get the uh, hook that I forged in the past and we're going to compare the two. Alright, the hook we just forged a while ago, the hook I forged in the past. There's a huge difference between those. I mean you can look at them and tell. Uh, the, the biggest difference from remembering when I forged this was this took forever. I mean, I worked on this for probably an hour or more because I kept trying to critique it. And when I tried to duplicate it using just a pair of scrolling tongs, of course, it was off a little bit here and off a little bit there. But I mean, you've seen in real time how quick this hook right here was to forge. And the thing is, is that that's what makes the difference. I sell these a set of six for $25 on my Etsy store. And I can show you right now just how many I forged out in just a few minutes last night. This right here is a set of 12 that I forged out last night. Just repeating the steps that I just showed. A few simple tools. I mean, you can use a porta band to cut them off with. There we go. Now you can actually see what I'm talking about. 
Uh, there's 12 hooks right here. Forge them in just a few minutes. Uh, just going back and forth. Forge, anvil, forge. And a lot of times, you know, if I'm not trying to record, I can come out of the forge, hammer the tip, scroll the tip, back into the forge, bend it, cut it off, hammer the head of it after getting it heated up again. So, I mean, you can produce these fairly quick. So, you know, when you're just getting started, uh, build yourself a bending jig, get a pair of pliers. But this is where the bulk of my money comes in, right here. Hooks, railroad spike knives. Uh, do a few other things like the rebar snakes. Y'all have seen the video here on the channel about that. But that being said, like I said, I hope this video, you know, kind of motivates you to, 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 to give it a try. You know, if you've never done blacksmithing before and you come across this, this video on YouTube, you know, go, go out and see. You might like it. You know, it might be something that you never thought that you'd be doing that one day you find yourself doing. Uh, and if you do love it, boy, is it ever addictive. There's a huge community out there that's more than willing to be supportive, uh, more than willing to help out. Uh, but give it a try. A simple hook. Like I said, I didn't know years ago that this one little hook right here would land me on Forge and Fire, which was a dream of mine that I never thought that I would achieve. I never knew that it would be the beginning of something that became my, my nine to five job, which is bladesmithing and blacksmithing. Uh, so, like I said, give it a try and see how it works out. I appreciate you for joining me today. Uh, I know right now, this being summer, it's extremely hot out in the forge. I mean, you can't see me, but I'm drenched in sweat. It's probably over 100 degrees in here right now. Uh, don't get too hot out forging. Stay healthy, stay cool, stay hydrated. Appreciate you for joining us. You would hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell for more notifications of our videos, our newest content when it posts. Uh, thank you again. You have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.